Hello, hello. I am live on Facebook, on different social media platforms. Hello, everybody. This is Coach Eva from Peak Physique Training Center. I hope everybody can see me. Okay, I'm on. I can see people coming in. That's awesome. This is a, a really first episode. Uh, I would say I, I've had a plan for a long time to do that. Uh, but I put the plan finally together and I thought this is going to be great to do this every Monday. Why Monday? Because really Monday is that beginning of the week. That's when you really need the most motivation. A lot of people at least. Because it seems like for a lot of people to starting from a very beginning, like it's Monday, a lot of people stressing over the weekend, what's going to happen, right? That I, a lot of people think, oh, I have to go to work. I have to deal with all these things that are coming my way. So I thought this is going to be that day. Now, a lot of you know me as a coach, right? As an owner of Big Physic Training Center. Now, from the physical locations we have moved to the virtual locations right but a lot of you do not know my story and i think sharing the stories as they are very raw true natural exactly as they are can relate to somehow to you but also can show you that if this person has done it, I can do it. Or maybe the similar situation happened to you. And this can be somehow uh, maybe a, a journey or a road for you to take upon. And that's why I thought, why not to share? Why not to give you ideas and tell you exactly how I'm dealing with certain things or how I was dealing with certain things and what happened? So today... I do not see comments yet. I wanted to go over really my favorite 20s that happened uh, to be very significant. Some of them, they, they've been added recently. Some of them I've done for a very, very long time. But this is a list of 20 that it's such an important list. And I think by doing this, by doing a lot of them and also creating your own today, you by yourself you can tap into your ultimate potential you can get better so now grab a pen and paper and if you cannot do this now maybe do it later try to do this okay so what are the significant things that you would say about yourself that help you in life certain structures, certain maybe even uh, food ideas or something significant that puts you into where you are today. What is, if you would write it down in pinpoints, what this would be? I'm going to start with number one. And I have them all listed here, so I would not miss on any. And this is okay, just wanted to let you know, this is okay to use some help and this is okay to read from things. <laughs> so we're going to start with my own thing. Be your own superhero. Every, every single one of you has a uniqueness to you. Every single one of you has some genius in you. And I believe in that. But a lot of us do not tap into their potential. A lot of us has not even tried to be there because you are so overwhelmed and overpowered by either uh, agendas or people asking you to do certain things and not really tapping into your own super genius, into your own super you. So today I want to to ask you, what is that one thing that you absolutely love that you could spend hours and hours of doing it or something that brings you ultimate joy? Because in this, I believe that in this topic lays something of a kind of superhero, your own superhero, your own uniqueness, your own talent, your own thing that you can not only make your life uh, uh, really mm, full of pleasures and joy and happiness, but also can create something 
that not only gonna help you but are gonna help others so be your own superhero what i mean by this how i how i was really uh why i thought about this because all my life all my and my whole entire life i was always into fitness i started in very very early age and i to this day i continue doing this so my love for fitness turned into a habit a business helping over 20,000 people right now so think about this today for a second if not today do this later on but please do it because once you're gonna get clear on this once you're gonna find out that one thing that it's very specific for you it's going to open up I think a door of opportunities possibilities uh, it's gonna tune more into you you're gonna become more congruent with who you are and this is who I am today I am a coach I am a leader I absolutely love what I do and we're gonna tap into it but I am a coach and I love this so where is your area of superhero what is this going to be for you make sure write it down I'm trying to find the comments and I have to tell you I am doing this uh, stream this live streaming through one of my tablets and it sh totally shows different than on regular computer i am also on f on instagram our two pages so uh, i see eliana has joined okay so let's go into number two i don't want to go too far into it but i just want to list you mine and i want you kind of to think about what would be yours what is something significant in your life those pinpoints that got you where you are or where you want to be so for me number two is dream big and take massive action and what i mean by that over 20 this is half of my age more than half of my age because i will be turning certain age in November so I would say right now is about 28 years 28 years ago I had a big dream I had a big dream to come to America and those people my friends that are actually on Facebook my Polish friends know me that I always was very ambitious and I had set goals I had big dreams and I took massive actions. I would not take no for an answer and I would do everything what, what led me to one direction. I want always to come to America and that's what I did. So today I wanted to tell you what is that one big dream that you have. But here is the thing. You can have big dreams and you're not going to do anything about them. So what I did, I had a very clear vision. I had a map of America and pinpoint where I want to go. And I talk about a lot of my dreams, my goals to people around me. And I had a very clear vision. At that point, my vision was all about coming, making money and investing in the future. Hello, hello, I see another person has joined. So that was for me, but for you, what is that dream? What is that something that it's connected to your superhero that will take you to take the massive action, right? So what is that one thing? And I'm gonna be tapping on those things, I think later on in these different episodes that I can go more into details. But today I just wanna kind of list them. Now, another very important thing for me that has happened over the years is getting up early and don't mind me i always drink water and you should do it too getting up early what i mean by this is like earlier than normal so if you start your work at seven you don't just getting up half an hour or an hour before i get up at 5 a.m or sometimes quarter to five and I, this is my magic time and we're gonna go over this. And what I, what I, why I get up early? So I can set my day, so I can do the most important things, so I can write and create. 
in those times because this is magic time for me when my kids sleeping and I have two beautiful kids that's the time that I can work and there is no destruction besides the darkness of the room the quietness focusing it's the best thing for me now we're gonna go over this in a little bit so what I do in the morning right getting up early I meditate for about 10 minutes if I have to teach a class, then I try to get up earlier. So this meditation and the reading time is done. Why reading? We talking. I'm talking about very important part. It's reading, reading affirmations, books that will give you uh, like a good positive mindset. There is a lot of books like that out there, and you can. I can send you information later if you need that. We can tap on the topic and I can uh, give you an idea of books that I've been doing. So reading the books, the books that will kind of make me think are books that are uh, on a leadership, right? But this can be also a time for you when you want to improve something in your life, maybe some other area uh, or um, things that you is definitely connected maybe to your lifestyle or work, right? But why I love reading in the morning because it really sets the tone of the day. It makes me think because these books have so much content that will really either spark some good thought in you for later or gonna create another message that can be shared out there. That's what it's all about, guys. Remember, uh, what we read in those books, what we come across, at one point it's been said in books, it's been said by someone else, it's been transformed and changed. And we, by you reading it, you can create your own thoughts. So always remember that, that this, this is like a, um, an ongoing spinning wheel and, and it change over the course of the years and in the future. So do that. It really helps you to set up the day. Now, what else I do in the early morning? I write my goals. I write my goals. I, I think about what I would like to achieve in the next month or a few months or even a year. You might have some big goal that can be written on that paper. Your thoughts, remember, thoughts, if you write them down, if you transfer them to the paper, they almost have like that, they go into the universe. They go into like the, uh, 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 something's happening, you seeing it, you writing it, it's becoming more, hello, more of a, of something for us to achieve because if something is just a thought in your head, it hasn't been out there in the universe and you need to share it somehow. Number four, eat healthy and never miss a breakfast. As a coach, that's what I do. And I always preach about this, never miss a breakfast. I do not believe in any kind of diet, any kind of intermittent, intermittent uh, fa fasting, anything like this. I believe in healthy foods, healthy, active lifestyle, and never missing a breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of your day, speeds up your metabolism, and that's what I believe. And that's what I've been doing for many, many years. Mm, but if I would go back to my old days, I used to also do different things. And that's something that we're going to talk for another topic. I used to be anorexic, but today we're not going to be talking about it. This is a different thing. And I, I, I'm sure you're going to relate to some of them. So what are the things? Have you been eating breakfast? Have you been eating healthy? If not, if you want to change something in your life today, maybe that's something that should be on that list today. Maybe you should be really putting... I need to eat healthy breakfast. I need to uh, I need to be eating healthy, right? Now, number five, this is what I have created fully. I talk about this and I, I spread the word about this. It's G T S O P. This is an abbreviation. This stands for something. right when you right before you hit bed you hit the bed right before you go to sleep get a nice plain protein shake without any additional fruits or sugars 
plain protein drink before you go to bed so you can get the best recovery at nighttime. Your body, your brain recovers at nighttime. This is the time of rejuvenation. So make sure you do that. If you have not done this, try this and this will change your life. I promise. Numbers, another, another point. Obviously, work hard. Work hard. The, this is, has to do with obviously the the magic time in, in the morning. This is my magic time. But where was your magic time? Maybe you don't want to get up that early in the morning. Maybe you want to find the time later. But from my experience, remember, with the struggle that we're facing right now, with everything is going on, it's proven. And I've spoken to a lot of people. And I always advise this, get up early because when you get up early, this is the time for you and you can, you can do and accomplish so many things in the morning. So this leads actually to working hard. You know, if you set up your day early in the morning, you can just smoothly transition your, yourself throughout the day. So work hard, work hard on things that really matter to you, that are so important to you because mm, what else, when you think about it, there are really tedious little things that happen in our life and you just not doing that massive action if you're not working hard and be, having that 5% for yourself, you're not going to move the wheel. You're not going to move the wheel forward. So work on very important things for your your life. Bring the fire every second of every second. That's one of our core values in Peak Physique when we when we have the score values at the gym, right? Bring the file every second or every second because you can always literally outdo yourself. You can always get better. You can always do something better than you've done before. And don't be afraid of corrections. Don't be afraid of things that you have done and you need to correct again. This is a part of hard work. And you know what? When you think, or maybe you are a person that wants to start doing live, live videos or becoming someone else or giving some ideas like I'm giving you right now, take a deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale before some big thing because people get frightened of the public speaking and the cameras and they never gonna go with things that they always dreamed of every single one of you had an amazing experience here and that's why i wanted to talk to you that you have something to share and your achievement something you have done can be an amazing baseline for someone else that wants to do it so share the experience right so before you go live or before you're going to make that phone call, take a deep breath in, smile and think that you are capable of connecting and doing amazing things and speak from the heart. Always speak from the heart and do these things from the heart and I think it's going to help you. Being nice, being pleasant, not being aggressive or any kind of way, I think this is another thing too that leads to all these things that goes with hard work and uh, and loving what you do and we're gonna get to this they find your magic time is very important and this leads to my am and that's what i said when is where is your magic time where is that time i have to tell you years ago years ago i was i, I would say i was not that i wasn't a morning person but i would not get up at 5 a.m as a you know young college student i would get up right before i would go to my classes so maybe 6 30 7 a.m but getting up at 5 a.m no however if i would have uh, some work to get to be done i would get up in the morning instead of staying up late at night however i know people i know people i know moms that uh, love the evening quiet that moment that everybody goes to sleep and they have the time to do a lot of things and this is great so find your magic time but, but what magic time is it's not just your work that you put it in magic time is when your brain has the biggest capacity has the biggest creativity that there is nothing being being overwhelmed nothing overwhelms you so that's why i think the morning is the best so with that magic time what i want you to also remember what i do before i start anything i do a brain dump brain dump is taking a piece of paper and writing down 
all these things, maybe to-do list or something like tedious things that you need to do. Maybe a food shopping, maybe you need to contact a friend, or maybe you need to respond to someone a text message. So those are those little things that are not massively moving you forward with anything. Those are those tedious little things that should be on a paper. You're going to cross them off and you're going to move on. You need to do this. And you know why? Because if you're not going to do that, do it. If you're not going to spread your thoughts into the paper, they're going to sit in your head. And what they're going to do, they're going to clog and stop your clarity, stop your creativity, uh, overwhelm you with, and, and not only that, they're going to start leading to other things and other problems and other things. And out of nowhere from a little thing becomes a big, gigantic ball and you can't concentrate, you can't meditate. That's what I've learned that this has to be out. If I'm starting having thoughts before I'm going into meditation, I, got, I gotta write it down. Otherwise, my meditation is lost. 10 minutes, it's gonna be like, wow, and I've done it. I've done it and I'm like, I didn't get anything out of this. What a waste of time. And you know what this caused you? It caused you to thinking, maybe I should give up. Maybe this is not for me. It is for you. It's proven that when we meditate, our brain gets clarity, we become more creative, we have amazing ideas, we become more relaxed. There's so many good vibes from meditation. So try it today. There is amazing app. I can text you later. Be obsessed with things that matter. Be obsessed or be average, right? Who says this? Grant Cardone. Yes, absolutely. If you don't know him, get to know this man. Yes obsession obsession to the point that you almost cannot sleep that this is the one thing that you want to do and do only and that's mean being obsessed that's almost like you want to complete accomplish something or you want to work on something or that was my obsession with us i got a lot of no's before i head forward but i never give up never another point is do what you love and love what you do. I absolutely love coaching. I absolutely love interacting with people. I absolutely love uh, hearing the excuses and overcoming them. Uh, I absolutely love giving you direction. If I see that this is what you struggle with, this is what you need to do today or tomorrow and be accountable and make a commitment with me that you're going to do this. Because the, why, why this is so important? Otherwise, you're wasting your life. Otherwise, I believe that you're wasting your precious time on this planet Earth. <laughs> Even though my husband always say that I come from a different planet. That, I'm, uh, that my planet always contacts me via... Uh, different signals right that he says you are from another planet maybe I am definitely planet earth planet Poland I would say yes and don't waste your time I can say that I'm fully happy with the achievement that I've gotten but I have more in place that I have more to become and more to achieve but I am so happy that I have chosen this path. And I, I have to tell you, and I'm gonna mention on this, when I came to America the first time, and I'm going to be talking about this more, my goal was to make money at first. But money is only kind of a result of something. That's almost like a byproduct of something that you do. So, because because I was not clear completely on my vision. I loved what I do back in the day, but I didn't clarify this till after I've spent years, hours of working at places that I completely did not enjoy to the fullest. And it was never congruent with my full vision. So I would do them and I was trying to be happy, but the full happiness never came, never blossomed like a flower, was never like, wow, this is something that I could do forever. And then when I found that 
moment, that's when everything has changed. And that's what I'm trying to tell you today. Find that moment. You know what is the right moment. You know what is the right thing. And that's when everything changes for you. So what I'm leading is that I was working to make money and I made I made a lot of money back in the day, right? And I, when I flew back to Poland, I was able to afford a lot of things and invest and do other things, yes. But this did not give me happiness because this was temporary until I actually find that gold goose, that's what was sitting inside of me for so many years. That's when I was like, wow, this is it. This is what I love to do. And I need to go with my mission. I need to spread the world. I need to uh, continue uh, to sharing what I love and helping people. And that's when Peak Physique really was created, right? So be patient. Be patient, especially with people that you love, because you will regret your behavior later. The patience is something that I think all of us need. Don't you think like sometimes, you know, the kids and you get impatient. So that's something that we should always work. And I think I have to work till that day, taking a deep breath in and saying, you know, it's all going to get better. Uh, teaching your kids the respect to the elderly, I think a lot of times it's forgotten. Uh, in Poland, uh, let me give you an example with, where well, at least that's how it used to be. I haven't been there for a year a little bit over a year when we write trams and you have the sitting sections if you would see an elderly person and you would be sitting down you would get up and give this person a seat and i remember that's how i was raised that's how my grandfather always would tell me my mom get up and if you're sitting never sit if you see older people so you know eventually what i started doing i was thinking i am young i don't need to sit down i can just stand and help someone even getting into the tram so make that's i think this is very important to me because i try to connect my kids with my grandparents is still and that's why my kids speak polish and we're gonna get to this but teach them the respect to the elder people, uh, grandparents, people that are older, they have amazing knowledge about life and they have some kind of a calmness to end that I absolutely adore. Uh, eight, teach the kids native language. If you are a bilingual or speak another language, you came from another country, please, I tell, I'm telling you this today, please, you need to teach your kids your own language, no matter what someone else will tell you. I was told a lot of times, you are American. Why are you teaching your kids Polish? I said, because I am Polish too. This, these are my roots and this is what I'm going to do. I've heard this a lot of times from people. problem or I would not say anything I would move on with my with my work I would continue doing what I'm doing I would be consistent so make sure that you're teaching your kids native language this is so important I know that a lot of people forgotten but I see in those amazing Spanish communities cultures Chinese how people speak in generations uh, from one generations to next speaking their own native language and that's that's what how america was great right america is great because of the melting pot we have all these different cultures we have all these different languages so make sure that you continue doing this uh, that i'm and again those are the tools those are the things that help me to become who i am today to become the mother that i am to become the leader that i am to become the, the the abundance that we have got this is what lets me and i'm sure these points will become more and more but but this is what i came up with when i was thinking how significant there are surround yourself with people who want more from life and who encourage you instead of putting you down you will have a lot of people friends even family that are not on the board with you if you feel that consistently somebody is pushing you squashing you down I think it's the time to nicely say, 
goodbye to this person, cut the strings and and not really deal with it. Maybe this might be might sound like this is so black and white, but sometimes it's the best way to do it if you don't see uh, that people are growing and and encouraging you to do those amazing things, right? Because if person will come out with certain sayings to you and they are more on a deprivation side instead of encouragement and and that livelihood and pushing you forward they are not really first of all they not see where you are they don't really understand you they're not really on board with you so sometimes it's just uh, maybe cutting to just basic basic contact and not too much and also just going sticking to the basic communications uh, I've done it. I've cut a lot of strings and I feel great about it. Uh, find a mentor, coach, someone that will coach you and lead you. We have plenty of those, as you see. Bajor Schoolian is one of them. Um, we we've um, we've have all we also have amazing friends that when people grow with you, you get you get to learn from them and the circle. for our sessions at Peak Physique. This is not just uh, wiggling a session and, oh, okay, let me think, what can I do now? No, this is not how we do coaching. We have those sessions prepared, thought in advance, and so when you come to the session, everything is organized and prepared. Now, expect the best, but be prepared for maybe not as best outcome. I don't like to say the worst, but this is pretty much what it, you need to be prepared. You never know uh, what can happen. Like even with the with the pandemic, right? Things going on, you need to be prepared. That's why I post some videos of our preparation. Just God forbid, if there is no water of other supplies, how are you going to be prepared? So we want to expect the best, but you never know. And that's what it is. You need to be prepared. What's your what's your code B or C or another uh, avenue that you can uh, you can do, right? Even with the gym, when uh, when pandemic hit, we immediately switched to the virtual sessions. Right. So that was our uh, reaction, pivoting the business. So that was a code B from A to B immediately. Uh, so we knew it. We were we wanted to be uh, be prepared for the uh, be, be prepared for the best. But we were expecting that something bad's going to happen. That's why we transform and try, uh, pivot the business. Right now. Action beats fear. I was thinking about it. Uh, even with any kind of major massive movements or, or even me coming to America, uh, there is always some kind of fear. There is might be an excitement, but the fear is somewhere there. It's laying inside of you, laying in the gut. You might feel it or maybe before a presentation or maybe before taking a test. You feel this. You feel that fear. So... Taking action beats the fear. I believe that doing it, just just doing it. Uh, I always say this to my clients, coaching clients as well. Like, if you're going to say, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it to start. Thinking is not going to get you nowhere. You're going to continue thinking, but there is no action behind it. So in order for you to start some drastic change, you just need to do it. You just need to do it. So take action, but action in a form of movement. So start exercising. Uh, if you're planning to uh, change your diet, go to the store and buy healthy food. 
that's an action, right? Just do it. Uh, if you even buy different clothes so you can see it, you cannot squeeze in them. They are smaller, so you need to lose that weight, right? That's being action taker. That's what you need to do. Mm. And with fear, new things, this is how it is pretty much with fear, as you realize. We are afraid of the new things, right? But we also can be afraid of things that we've done it. Why? The new things is something unknown, something that you, you've never done before. So it's like, okay, you're entering a, a, a place that you've never been before. You don't know how this reaction will be. You might not even know how people will react. You might not know a lot of factors and that's the fear. But you also can be frightened from things that happen in your life. Maybe you've been training with a coach and you had a bad experience. So by you hiring another coach can bring the bad thoughts, right? Or maybe if you uh, started a diet, which I don't believe in diets, but people start diets because you've started a diet before, you've had a bad experience because you lost the weight, you gained the weight, or maybe you were deprived from food. This brought a bad memories on you, right? This brought uh, not a good feeling. Like me being anorexic, does this brings a bad, good feeling? Absolutely not. I had thoughts and feelings about it related. And I, if any time I think about it, it doesn't make me feel good. So those are experiences that actually past experiences can bring the same fear. So be aware of these things. Trust your intuition. The intuition is inside of them. There's something so good and so strong. There's that sixth sense that all of us has it. And I trusted my intuition and I trust it and I think about it. There is always something and I'm not completely sure. Mm, I have to research it more. So, so really do that internal talk. Pain of the regret is stronger than the pain of failure you're gonna feel worse when you feel like wow i did not do that compared to wow i tried and i failed because you've done some work so even if you've done and put on work and you failed you're going to learn from it. Hopefully you're going to learn from it. Hopefully you're going to look into this and say, you know what? I did wrong this, this, and this. I'm going to do something else and become better. But if you're not going to do it, if you're going to avoid, think about the past, how things that you've avoided or, or you didn't do it. How do they make you feel? I never liked uh, a feeling of regret. And I have to tell you back in the day, uh, back in Poland, this is something so significant because usually the, the, the regret is something that you're going to carry for a longer period of time. So this is something significant. This is not a little thing. This is some big thing. So when I decided to become a coach in Poland, I, I went through the process of training. And this was uh, the first gym that I absolutely loved. I spent hours on. I, I met the best friends like Kasia Kujawa, my friend. And I say her name and I met amazing people there. But you know what? This, uh, not done yet, honey. Yes, somebody's five minutes. Uh, I, I went through the course and the fear stopped me to go farther. I went through an entire course and I didn't come up to take the test. And this is something that I always think about it. I think about it that I didn't do it. And because I didn't do it also, there's a series of events that happened. Now I might ask myself a question. I didn't do it maybe because I wasn't ready. Or maybe I didn't push myself enough, but that was one of the things that I didn't do it. And years later, I completed all the tests here on American soil in American language, studying uh, the AFAA test, right? So, but I didn't do it. I went through all of it and the final thing I didn't do it. And why is that? So think about something that you 
went so far and you didn't accomplish. Why? Why is like that? Why didn't you do it? Are you regretting it till this moment? What else is that that you regret that you haven't started, that you haven't got, you haven't gotten for it? There are other things that we can talk about, right? Be the best version of yourself every day. Try to be and learn more things about you and always strive for the best because that's how we grow. If we think, okay, today I got up early, I did all this time, I worked out, let me do it again tomorrow. This is how you need to think. This is how you need to apply those things. So those new things that just coming on board with you, make sure you're repeating them. Make sure you try to do again. So they become habits. So they become a better version of you. That cannot be just sporadic, right? There is always a good day. A bad day is your choice. Never make excuses and never accept any. Those will be the final two. So the, there is always a good day. We can make a good day if you want to, or we can decide to complain and be angry and not smile, not be joyful, not, not do the things that we're supposed to do, not working out. So... You know what? And this, this is the thing. If you make the choice that you're going to be, um, you're going to be, uh, you're going to complain, that's where your day is going to go into complaining. If you make a choice that you're going to complain at your spouse, guess what? Probably when your spouse comes home, you're going to start uh, arguing. When you're going to complain that there is no time for you to work out, guess what? You're not going to find time to work out. So, um, Making a good day, making priority list, sticking to it, going for it, and never making excuses mindset. That's how we live. That's what we try to, to preach and live with. And I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope you got something out of it. Create your own list. Create that list. And also maybe create something that it's not there, but you want it to be there. Okay, because that's going to put you for tomorrow so for something to achieve better. Thank you so much for watching. Have a no excuses day and I will see you next week.